So I keep hearing, you know, talks of more and more things going electric. I mean, we have electric cars. I, I saw videos about electric motorcycles. Now I'm seeing electric airplanes and electric um, ships may be coming. Electric trucking is being developed. This is all great, but um, our electrical grid, we're kind of getting the cart before we have a horse uh, in the sense that we have not made our electrical grid renewable uh, in preparation for doing this. This is a great plan, but it makes no sense when you're doing it in, in a vacuum and you're, you're not making any intelligent decisions. I mean, nuclear has come a long way. Fukushima was a plant from 1971. We've had 50 years of progress in that time, and we're still afraid of nuclear because of, of old technology plants, old, poorly maintained uh, electrical plants that are that are not relevant or not an illustration of what we could do with nuclear today. There's also, we're choosing the highest yield fuel, which produces a toxic end result that then we have you know, radioactive waste that has to be stored under mountains out here in the western part of the U.S. There, there are cleaner um, alternatives that have a lower yield, so you only get a third of the power from the process, but you also don't have that toxic end result. And this is the biggest issue coming with our current battery technology, is a toxic end result, something that we do not have the capability to clean up easily. Um, this is a this is a major issue. Um, if if we don't come up with a good lithium recycling system, this is going to be unsustainable. Just on on that, uh, how how are you going to deal with all the toxic element that you have left over as a byproduct when these batteries go dead? In I don't even know what the predicted life cycle is, but probably less than ten years. I can't picture these electric vehicles getting to the point where they don't need a battery replacement every 10 years. What do you do with the old batteries? So, I mean, Elon Musk said we only need a couple gigafactories and we could power the whole U.S. with clean solar energy. This is his claim. Why Why is this not more sensational to people? Why, why is everybody just worried about what electric vehicles they can go buy? Um, you can see right here, elect, this, this is, by the way, U.S. Energy Information Administration Monthly Energy Review, May 2023. So this is current, okay? And right here we see, right all the way up until 2005, coal is far, far and away the number one source of electrical power in the U.S. Um, we are clearly making a change. We're ramping up our natural gas. We're tapering coal. Um, and oil plants are pretty much, you know, have been done away with, but some, I think there's a couple that are still in operation. If you increase the energy demands on the grid without first making it robust and capable of handling that, you are going to potentially put yourself in a situation where, oh no, we need to bring coal plants back online. Oh, oh no, we need to bring oil plants if they're not uh, beyond that point back online just to keep up with demand I mean the, the the biggest sources of energy use in the transportation sector is not personal vehicles it is the the system of transportation of goods across this country using large semi tractors and uh, you know other other trucks of varying sizes but primarily those big trailer semi trailer trucks they're using tons and tons of fuel compared to your little Honda Civic. Um, and and we're rolling out electric trucks, so that's going to be a huge demand on, on the electrical grid. A huge shock compared to just a few people going out and buying electric vehicles and charging them at home or going to char charging stations. And then we're talking about ships, airplanes, to recharge a ship after a Trans-Pacific voyage would be a massive amount of electricity. And solar panels are not going to cut it. You can put them on the ship to supplement, but you are going to have to ch charge that vehicle. You're going to have to charge those airplanes when they fly across the country. That is a massive, very dense amount of energy that we're wasting. 
we gave up on trying to fly efficiently like birds. Birds use a third of the energy to fly the same speed and distance as, as aircraft of an equivalent size. But we said, who cares? We just throw more fuel at it. We want to fly. Uh, this is similar to what happened with AI. We thought that we needed to emulate the human brain. It turns out if you just throw more computing horsepower at it, you, you break the code. So this is an analogy for how humans behave. We're just like, throw more, throw more uh, resources at the problem. That's how we fix stuff. I just wish that we were throwing our resources at fixing the, the supply chain before we start buying more. We need to fix the, the source if we want clean energy. Because right now, this, this isn't completely current. So I'm sure that it, it is, you know, maybe transportation is a little bit dirtier than the uh, uh, electric power sector, maybe. But here, they just have an intersection right there. And for, for all of 1980 up until 2015, the electrical grid has produced more carbon dioxide emissions than the transportation sector. And uh, everybody's acting like electric vehicles are, are going to save the world. Well, they're not, because the electrical grid is dirty. And even if it's cleaned up, if you increase demand on it, you're going to continue to, to, to taper your transportation pollution because you're going to be going electric. But you are going to ramp this graph back up as you put increased demand on it. So it just it doesn't make any sense. We need to set up the solar, the renewable energy sources. I don't care what they are. I, 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 you know, who, whoever has the best plan, that's what we should go with. I don't have a dog in that fight. I'm not going to make any money from it. So I don't care what the grid, what our clean source of energy is. I mean, hell, let's get, uh, let's get Tony Stark to put one of those arc reactors, you know, uh, in our houses. That's what I want. I want an arc, take all that crap out of my car. I want an arc reactor in there. We'll just run wires from that. That'd be amazing. Let's do that. Somebody, somebody figure that out and try not to get suicided by the government and the corporate interests. Um, so this, this is just really frustrating. I, I hope that, um, I hope that we can have a more intelligent conversation about what the best, best uh, path forward is to actually reducing our impact on the environment, because there is no doubt that we, uh, have some issues and um, another thing you, you are starting to already pile up some of these green electric vehicles and it's costly to recycle this equipment I, I've worked in the in the computer um, industry repairing computers I know that there's already a huge recycling problem with the electrical components because it's so hard to extract extract those precious metals out of a lot of computer equipment you can't even go give uh, computer electronics uh, products to um, a landfill. They want to charge you by the ton because they have to then go process it. And uh, it costs quite a bit per ton to process that. So they're not doing that for free. So does everybody out here, you know, who's going to go buy an electric car because they want to save the environment? Are, are you prepared to then have back end expenses? where you, you either have to repair your existing electric vehicle and replace the batteries, or if you go buy a new one, you have to pay a recycling fee because there's so much toxic uh, byproduct when you're, when you're getting rid of this electric vehicle at the end of its life that, that you have to pay the fee to get that recycled. You can't just throw it over the bank and be like, ah, See you later, you know. So you could get in a situation where it costs you money to get rid of your vehicle, which is, you know, just has to be understood um, that we don't have the, the back end support, the power grid and the battery technology, clean battery technology and cl clean power tech. We don't have either of those. We're just trying to produce electric vehicles and act like act like it's good for the environment. And it's not. So I hope that this um, I hope that this open your eyes to some issues that are facing this the development of this ecosystem that are not being clearly explained by by the people that are pushing this 
Um, I think that a lot of people are trying to do the right thing and I'm not criticizing anyone on an individual level for wanting to go electric. The concept and the ideas behind it are absolutely wonderful. I think it's great. The issue is that we're not, no one's being completely honest with us about whether there is a real advantage here um, under the circumstances. So anyway, I uh, welcome anybody who's got any ideas, please leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, I, uh, I, you know, hope we can figure this out. I know we will eventually. Just seems like uh, we got to change the discussions we're having in order to get there. All right.